Hello and welcome to BA 211 Accounting 1. Right now I'm going to walk you through the course site and hopefully give you some tips to get you started on the right foot. So let's go ahead and begin by clicking on the Start Here button. So as you go into the Start Here uh, module, so in Canvas there's modules that place similar pages together to kind of lead you along the right path. So we're going to start with getting started home. Go ahead and use the uh, next button here and it'll move you on to the video you're watching here. Then we're going to talk about the textbook. Real quick note on the textbook. So in this class you have two options. One, you can buy the hard copy textbook with the access code or you can buy just the access code. So the, I suggest you go to the TVCC bookstore if you want to do the hard copy book and, with the access code. And, and uh, if you want to do just the access code, you can go to the link that's here on this page and you can go ahead and buy the access code from the link. Uh, the, there is an option to do just a 14 day uh, free trial if you're still getting finances together here at the beginning of the term. So it'll give you a couple of uh, 14 days. Uh, it'll give you uh, two weeks uh, to get into the course and get going and then hopefully you'll be able to buy that access code um, and continue on with the course. So that that's your choice. A lot of times the hard copy book does help out though uh, as you get into the course and work through the material. So just a tip, you can do it based on your study needs and, and um, finances. Assignment overview. So in this course, we're going to be working through a week-by-week -week basis. Ideally, you're going to be able to cover a chapter a week. We're going to have a week in the middle, week five, that's kind of a break, catch-up week. Uh, and But every week, you, you need to do a weekly journal. The weekly journal assignment is set out there. and you're going to uh, need to go in and answer the questions that are in the, in the journal and submit that every week by uh, Sunday, right? Sunday at midnight for the week previous. And then there's interactive presentations. Those are extra credit assignments as you get into the uh, modules that you don't have to do them. They're not part of the prerequisite structure but you can do them if you want extra credit. You can actually go back and do them after the fact. They're really good though to do before you get into the other work for the chapter. So just uh, hop in there and see what the interactive presentation assignments are all about and see if you want to spend the extra time to get the extra credit. Then we begin here with SmartBook. This is the first uh, assignment really that's due for a chapter. So the smart book is the study assignment and uh, what you do is you go in there, you're going to do all of the uh, items, the study item questions as you go through it and once you complete all the items for study in this particular chapter, you'll be done with it and you'll get 100%. So there's either 100% or 0% on this, right? And that's going to be due by the second class meeting of every week. Uh, if we don't meet for the second meeting of the week, it'll still be due as if we had a meeting. For example, there's going to be a week um, that where we may have a holiday uh, on uh, a Wednesday or a Thursday, no class. The assignment is still going to be due by uh, as if we had class on that day. So just so you know. Um, so now we begin with the homework assignments. That's where we begin the prerequisites. Okay, so we have to do the homework assignments before we do the quizzes, and we have to do the homework and assignments for all the all uh, for the homework assignments and the quizzes for all the chapters uh, before we do the exams. Right. So for the first exam, chapter one through four, you have to do all the homework assignments and quizzes before you sit for exam one. For example, so uh, nothing is prerequisite before you jump into the homework. But it is good to do the smart book assignment and possibly the interactive presentation extra credit before you do the homework, just so you'll have some extra knowledge and to uh, help back you up while, when you get into the homework assignment. 
and you don't want to miss those points for the smart book in that. So if you do miss a smart book, just go ahead and, and move on. You can do the smart book without credit, but then make sure you get into the homework assignment and quiz. There are no uh, there are no deadlines for the homework assignment and the quizzes and the exams. The only deadline that's there for those is the end of the term, right? So you can go back and redo them, uh, homework and quizzes as many times as you want. Exams, you have three takes for each exam. So one initial take and then two retakes uh, for those. And so, so anyways, then after the homework assignment, you can take the quiz. You have to get at least a 75% on the homework assignment to be able to go in and take the quiz. You have to get a 75% on the homework and quiz for all the chapters uh, in order to take the exam. So you really got to work up to that 75% uh, mastery point for the homework and quizzes to be able to sit for the exams and to continue with the course. If you have any problems with those, contact me and I'll, if you have any questions, I can help you out uh, with that. So as we continue on with our welcome, uh, you're gonna have you're gonna sit for a quiz here for the welcome qu uh, section module. That is the, really the first assignment you need to do is to go through this welcome uh, module and then take this quiz. You can take it as many times as you want, get as good a score as you want, um, and then continue on with the course. The welcome quiz is going to be the point where I'm gonna mark participation for the course for financial aid and student service uh, purposes. So just so you know, get the welcome quiz done and you'll be marked as participating in the class. Okay, so let's go back to home here real quick. There's two more buttons on the home page. Coursework, that's going to line out everything I talked about with you already into uh, in order uh, that you're supposed to be doing them. So the getting started, that's all there. Hopefully you've completed that as you're doing this uh, video and then chapter one, chapter two, again, about a chapter a week. We're gonna take a break uh, for week five. Nothing's really due week five, uh, but it's a catch up week. Uh, all the way through uh, week 11, week 11 is finals week, so hopefully you're gonna be able to catch up on week 11 with all your, uh, anything that you have uh, do there, or maybe do some makeups on some exams and try to get some better scores there. So that's, that's what the uh, coursework link is there. And then finally, on the far right is Mr. Bell button. So that's me. Uh, if you wanna see my office hours, click on this link and my office hours will come up. And uh, if, you know, feel free to come in, come in anytime during my office hours. Uh, you can also contact me with email or uh, phone and uh, we can set up a, a meeting for another time, either live or virtually. We can set up a virtual meeting as well if you need to do that, and that's totally possible. My office is in Barber Hall, um, in the hallway near the math lab, if you know where that is, on the south side of Barber Hall. So I'm glad to have you in this class. It's going to be a good class, and I'm uh, it's going to be fun and and just stick with it. The first part of the class may be a little rough as you get going in there and get uh, introduced to accounting, but by the end you'll be glad you did and we'll, we'll have fun. Thanks. Bye.